Oh my god, this is so awesome. Where's my parachute? No, no! Ah! Hey guys, Tally006 back again with another video playing Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royale. Pacify the mission area. So here we are dropping into our second round of Blackout. Don't know, still don't know where the best places are to go or you know what the strategy strategies are, but I figure I'll go towards the end of the or the edges of the map and try to play a little bit slower. Uh, Still getting used to menus and you know attachments. Uh, a cool thing that Call of Duty added that the other battle royales don't is the perks. You know when you're playing multiplayer online in a regular you know team deathmatch of Call of Duty, your class setup you can have perks. You know stuff like uh, dead silence. You know silent footsteps. Uh, I'm not too sure on the other ones. I know some of them that are in here are like engineer, paranoia, stuff like that. I still haven't figured out what they all do. Um, so here we are, we're jumping in, we're gathering some loot. Like I said in previous video, the sound is amazing in this game and you're actually gonna hear a guy come running up uh, just on the outside of my tent. Potential I collapse hear detected. the footsteps so I stop Advise relocation and I to indicated safe zone. And I can actually hear him run towards the right of the screen and I hear the zip of the zipper so I know he's looting something. I need to slide in and you're down. You're killed. First kill. Blackout. So when you do down an enemy if you're playing solos, it's an instant kill, of course, and just like any other battle royale, if you're playing duels or squads, he'll be downed and you'll have that chance to revive him. But when they do finally die and are out of the game, they drop a little satchel pack and you can go through and loot everything that they drop, just like every other battle royale game. The system for the looting is a little different because, you know, in PUBG they bring up a big menu and you can see kind of everything all at once uh of course in fortnite the players explode and all their stuff kind of just falls on the ground and you can go through it like that and this it kind of brings up a little menu and you have to actually like side scroll through everything and again press and hold that square button if you want to take something a little different um with not being able to build and you know protect yourself you are vulnerable when you are looting that spot the cool thing that they added though for this battle royale is that you can keep moving while you're looting as long as you kind of stay in that area you can be moving around and not staying still here I got a trauma kit so I want to get up to 200 200 HP and if you notice I was able to move there if you're medding anything like that you are able to continuously move Again, pretty slow gameplay. I skipped ahead here. Uh, I can hear shots coming from the estates map here. I see a guy just run across there. I'm just kind of gatekeeping here. I don't want to engage too quickly or too prematurely. Just want to see what's happening. I can hear another battle coming up here, so I know at least one of them's dead. You can see the kill come up in the kill feed. So I'm pretty sure that there's only the one left again skipping ahead I haven't seen this guy run out I've been keeping watch I see him out the corner of my eye there walking through the pool finally I get I get bored like I've literally been sitting on this hill for two three minutes probably in I figure let's get in there. Let's let's see if we can cap another kill here. So I'm up against the outside of the estates here. 
not familiar with this map. This is a map from Black Ops 2, I believe. Supply drop inbound. I'm not familiar, never played the game, so Circle collapse um, imminent. Get to safety. A little cautious coming in. I don't know corners or sight lines, you know, where this guy might pop out. I know he's in this house at this point. So come up here. So you can see, still a lot of loot in here. Be sure to check the corners. Did he get past me? Nope. Let's go back. Let's pick up the ammo. There's some stuff in here. Let's check it out. I'm assuming this guy has dead silence on, silent footsteps, because I do not hear him leave the area. You can really hear footsteps from quite a ways away, so I didn't quite hear him get away. So, I mean, I'm still thinking he's still in here, but I find out a little bit later that he wasn't here at all. Here I can hear a chopper coming in. Again, sounded just amazing. There it is. He sees me. He stops, pulls up. He's descending, he's coming in, I take a shot, try to deter him away a little bit, he decides, oh, the storm's coming in, this is a little too close, tries to pull up, and I take a few shots, he goes over to the next map over there, I'm, I don't want to deal with that guy, you know, he was confident enough to be flying around in a chopper, uh, he's probably, you know, a tryhard, so I don't want to deal with that. Again, the sound. Oh, let's check, make sure this guy's not sneaking up behind us. This guy trying to snipe me? No. Again, with the sound, I hear the truck start up. So I zoom in. This is moving. I can see that guy in there. Oh, take shot. Boom, right there. You can see that. Be advised. He's armor Further pop up. I hit him. He had armor. Relocate on. To safe the rest zone. of the hit markers are just. Uh, me hit the truck. The cool thing about the vehicles is that they're very distinct in sound. You can hear that quad go by. Sounded a bit different than that cargo truck. So far the only vehicles that are in the game are a Zodiac boat, the ATV, the cargo truck and a helicopter the only ones that I've actually been in physically and, and driven around uh, maybe they'll add more maybe they'll add different ones take some out who knows right here I'm just looking around circle collapse imminent that get to safety is behind me net call supply maybe dropping that coming was in, in the truck there I attempt to try to get up on the roof. I'm not sure if that's possible. It's not. Well, let's try driving this truck. This is first time in a vehicle. The controls are pretty intuitive. Uh, it's a lot like Halo was back on the original Xbox, the original Halo. The Warthog uh, vehicle is just Accelerate left stick forward, uh, brake left stick back, and you steer with your with your right stick. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you are at speed and you jump out like I just did, you're gonna take damage. I'd like to take a quick minute just to talk about the inventory menu. Some of the PC players I heard were complaining about how it works, and I, th I find it's okay, but maybe I'm just used to the controller. So starting on the left hand side is your ammo all the different kinds the ones that are highlighted obviously ones that you have the lower left is your health and armor uh, middle lower is the backpack uh, depending if you have a backpack or not you'll get more and more slots the lower right is your storage and under the equipment there is your placeable and throwable items is what you have ready for your trigger button to go. In the middle it's your selected gun and all the attachments along along it. 
if you have an item highlighted, it appears up into the right and gives you a brief description of what that does. And that's about it. Let's get back to the gameplay. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, storm's here. Actually, I don't think they call it the storm. I think they're calling it the collapse, which is a little different. Let's get out of here. Still a one ticker. It's the third zone the that has come expected. in, I believe, Relocate at this point. To safe zone. And it's still only taken one one tick. I don't know if that's going to change come, come full release or if that's just a beta thing. You actually can survive quite long in the collapse. If you have any, if you have lots of meds, by all means, don't feel like you have to get out of there. I've been in the, I've seen guys in the storm for a long time. There are these little uh, med kit, med med bags that hold uh, all your healing items. They usually come with one trauma kit, uh, one med Circle kit. Circle collapse imminent. Bandages. Get to safety. Uh, so always good. Let's get back up to 200 HP. There's also supply crates strewn about throughout the map. Um, I've also come across golden guns. The guns don't necessarily have uh, rarity per se, but there are these kind of golden guns that are laying around. They do have a, a glow to them and they're just a gun that already has like attachments already on it and uh, that's pretty cool. I hear this guy coming in the truck. It's engaged. This game's been pretty boring. Nothing but truck. Yes. Oh, cocktails are on fire. Uh, Lost to this Gus here, gentlemen. Eighth place, you know, slow, slow pace to that game. Supply but, drop uh, inbound. Eighth place, you can't, you can't be wrong with that for your second round. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.